Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Orms TV. Just wanted to say I hope everybody is keeping safe and staying healthy. Seeing that we are stuck indoors, we thought it'd be a great idea to make a video of five common mistakes that most beginner photographers make. So this will be from my own personal experience, but also from things that I've picked up from clients as they started out. So let's check it out. So number one on our list is going to be not having a good understanding of the three pillars of photography. So what are the three pillars of photography? It's going to be aperture, ISO and shutter speed. Now if you understand how these three things affect your image and exposure, you're well on your way to getting the perfect shot. So one great way of understanding these three things is to actually review as many images as you can everywhere. I started out checking out every single magazine that I picked up and you can also do this online. Have a look at the image, see why this aperture was selected. Why was the ISO so high in low light? Why did this landscape photography choose such a high aperture? Why did this wedding photographer shoot with an f1.8 lens? All these things will eventually make more sense to you as you read images and you start to sort of almost notice the pattern with certain styles of photography. This is a great way of getting a good understanding of what settings would you use in what situation. So my first tip is properly learn the three pillars of photography, ISO, shutter speed, aperture. Number two on the list is staying isolated and not joining photographic groups. So something I never did when I started out was join these photographic clubs or join a group of people that would go for these sort of photo walks. Now, not only do you get great technical information from these people that you can learn from, but you'll also be inspired by all the creative people around you. And this might actually spark some great ideas for future shoots. Another advantage is, is that you'll be making a lot of connections in the industry and that's a great way of getting your work and your brand out there. Make those connections and make those friendships and you might even bring in some work for yourself into the future. And also have a look at the Orms photo walks and talks that we do have every now and then. If you're registered on the Orms mailer, you'll be notified whenever one pops up. So my second tip is to not stay isolated and don't be afraid to join these photographic groups or go for those photo walks. It's a nice way to get into the community and also to get great information from creative people. Point number three, not publishing or uploading your work online. This is again something that I also struggled with myself when I started out. Always thinking like, oh, this image isn't good enough, or I'm not professional enough. But in actual fact, any feedback is great when you start out. We shouldn't be afraid to learn from these experiences. Isn't that the whole point of this journey is to take up as much information as we can. Taking critique from anybody is great, even from a person that knows nothing about photography. Some of your future clients will have no idea about the technical stuff that's going on in your camera, but they can still tell you if an image looks good or not. So always be on the lookout for photographic competitions to submit your work. Even if it's a basic photograph of your rose in the garden, it's still photography. Tip number three is publish your stuff online, enter as many competitions as you can and learn from them. Point number four, and might have some people upset in the comments, more expensive gear does not make you a better photographer. Yes, gear can be important sometimes. Having that nice 5D4 with the full frame and buying your 2470 f2.8 is gonna give you crazy sharp images, but that gear doesn't make you a better photographer. I've seen some great images taken with very entry level equipment. Knowing how to set up your camera and knowing where your camera's limits lie is sometimes more important and more powerful than having the top of the range camera and not having a clue of how to set it up. So don't think just because you don't have the top of the range camera that you cannot produce good work. Try and focus on your skill and try and grow that and that will shine through in your images. So tip number four is a great photographer can get good results with any camera, but still know where the limits of the gear will lie. Point number five, and this point is maybe aimed more at the professional working industry, but the point is don't do work for free for too long. 
Shucks, this is definitely something I did for way too long and I kind of know how you feel. You just bought your fancy SLR, you just aced your photographic course and you kind of want to start building on that portfolio. And there's definitely nothing wrong with helping out the family member or the odd friend with a photo shoot. It is a great way of getting up a basic portfolio for your future clients to show them what you can do. But once you do get that experience and also that extra bit of confidence, definitely start thinking about charging people a small booking fee. Try and see your camera as a working tool. And remember, a lot goes into a photo shoot. All your creativity, your technical knowledge, not even to think about your camera and also your editing tools like your computer, your editing time, all that needs to be taken up into consideration. Also, don't forget, you need to maintain your camera equipment. That includes servicing and also possibly shutter replacement. Your shutter is unfortunately not unlimited. Guess who will be paying for that? You, my friend not the guy you did the free band shoot for last week. So tip number five is don't do free work for too long. That's it guys, my quick five tips for beginners out there. Hopefully one of them has helped you. Let me know what you think in the comments below and also please share your personal experiences and if you have any tips for us to share as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.